And we do begin with a massive memorial service just getting underway to remember former First Lady Rosalind Carter. Her 99-year-old husband, former President Jimmy Carter, has joined a long list of dignitaries in attendance. The former First Lady died at the couple's Georgia home earlier this month at the age of 96. And today's tribute will include a rare gathering of all living U.S. First Ladies and multiple presidents, including President Joe Biden. News Nation correspondent Elizabeth Pran joins us live from Atlanta with the details on today's somber services, Elizabeth. Hey, Nicole. Yeah, so bittersweet because she's missed by so many. And then at the same time, remembering this robust, amazing legacy. I'm looking at these live uh, pictures as you are of inside the service. You can see those first two rows uh, are still empty. You mentioned a long list of dignitaries convening. I mean, that would just be an understatement. This is a woman who paved the way for first ladies, which is why all of the living first ladies are in attendance. Remember, she created the East Wing and the staff for all of the folks in that capacity. So um, we saw this morning, we watched it live on our air, the president, the first lady. We saw the Clinton family. We saw former first lady Laura Bush, Melania Trump, all arriving here in Marietta, Georgia. And shortly thereafter, uh, just about an hour and a half ago, we watched um, her final exit from the Carter Center. Remember, here is where she continued to work well into her 90s uh, because there is a myriad of projects that are completed here at the center. She lives in Plains, Georgia, about an, an hour and 40, maybe two hours south of here. And as I mentioned, she would still make the trek here. Um, and for the public, because we mentioned all the dignitaries in attendance today, um, it is a closed service today and tomorrow, which is why yesterday uh, the public was allowed to come and pay their respects. There was hundreds of people that were streaming in between 6 and 10 p.m. at the Carter Center. Uh, they were ushered through a, a number of artifacts and photographs of really just an incredible life, not just a public servant, but also the humanitarian aspect of it. I do want to play um, a quick piece of sound for you from not only someone at the Carter Center, but also a pastor who she worked with, because it kind of exemplifies um, just how much celebration is taking place, not just as we speak at the church on Emory University, but throughout these three days. Mrs. Carter led by example. She rarely asked anyone to do something that she wouldn't do herself. She treated everyone with respect and dignity. She was unpretentious, never seeking recognition for herself. Rosalind Carter will remain an inspiration for all of us. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you today for this vessel that you gave to us. Bless this family, bless the staff, Bless all those that are grieving, but let them know she is dancing with you. She is not asleep. She is not dead. She is dancing with you. It's in your son Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You know, Nicole, in this world of in this world of impulsivity, it's so refreshing to talk about a figure who gave so much in her 96 years. So we mentioned today uh, is a private ceremony as we await some of those dignitaries to enter the service. Um, she will then travel her motorcade to Plains, Georgia. As you know, that is where her and um, the former president lived, uh, not only in their early years, but also retirement there. And she will have her final resting place with her family and close friends at a closed service tomorrow. Nicole, back to you. All right, Elizabeth Pran live for us there in Atlanta. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.